Hi, I'm Joe from Scroll Innovations with another Knight Power Sports product. This is our Polaris all-wheel drive switch bypass kit. This kit will bypass all the electronics that are known to fail and not allow you to have all-wheel drive. So inside the box, you'll get our thank you card, a sticker, a card that shows that you go to our website to click on the product you purchased and then the video link in there and something about our safe box. You'll have the switch that will go above your thumb throttle, the replacement here, the connector part, and your main wire harness. All right, so let's go ahead and get started installing it. First step here is going to be to remove the safe box so that we can get access to this screw here. This is a 2014 Polaris 570. and there's one more here and one more over here. So now this pops off. We also need to open your front section here. And we're going to remove this piece. Next, this piece will pop out. Your gasket here can come off. And this piece pulls up and comes forward just like that. Next, we're gonna take the main wire harness here and take these two of the longest parts and fish these down through this part here, both of these, and then we'll go down underneath and pull them through. We pull the wires down, got these through pretty far. The big relay is still up top. And now we need to find the connector that this plugs into. On this 2014, it looks just like this. On your vehicle it might look a little different there's a few different plugs that can come with this kit so come to your differential down here it could be kind of tight hard to see but there is a wire right here you're going to follow this up and now the camera is going to go to the other side so you can see where that goes to and that is right here let me know when you can see it yep got it so you need to unplug this and plug this wire from the kit into this side, like that, and then take the other connector that came with your kit and plug that into this side. Next, we are going to hook up the uh, other wire that we pulled down here directly to the battery. We already did that here because it was difficult to do. There was a lot of different things on this battery. So as you can see here, this is connected to the battery. You got your red wire that goes to the positive terminal and your black wire that goes to the negative terminal. So now this wire is hooked up and the other wire that you brought down here is hooked up and the other connector that came with the kit is plugged in. So next we can go back up top. So that wire harness that we fished down, you have this connector still up top here. And next we're going to take the switch out of the bag. It comes like this. And you're gonna run these two wires through your gauges down so that you can plug it into there. So find a spot through all of these wires here that go from your handlebars down to where the other wires were.
this wire is going to plug into here. And this wire goes to a uh, 12 volt power supply that comes on when your ATV is on. There's quite a few of these. Um, a lot of times it's a brown wire. Sometimes it's other colors. Here you have an orange wire. And I tested this and this wire has 12 volts when the key is on. So you can plug this into here. If you don't have this connector here, you can either go directly to the battery, but then the only problem is if you leave your all wheel drive switch on, you will kill the battery. So you have to make sure you turn it off if you decide to do that. Otherwise, you just need to find a 12 volt supply that is on when the key is on. Next, we're going to install this switch. The first step is to unplug this connector from here and then remove this part of the switch. There is a, there is two Torx or Phillips head screws that hold this in. Our kit comes with new screws, which are what's in here right now because the old ones were stripped. So remove. This whole switch just falls off like this. Now we can take the new switch and it fits right in place and put the screws that are supplied in. The switch is screwed in. Take the plug that was disconnected before, plug that back in, and now the kit is fully installed. So before we put everything together, let's turn the key on. We'll switch on and make sure you have no check engine lights and turn the switch to all wheel drive and you see that this lights up. That's because that white wire that we found 12 volts for got power, no check engine light, everything is good. So now we're going to first use some zip ties to clean up the wiring and then put everything back together. All right, so now we use zip ties, cleaned everything up, zip tied underneath so everything is away from any moving parts and nice and clean. We're gonna put it back together. We can snap this back on the same way that you got it off. Install the three screws. Next, we can put this front plastic back on. If you look under here, you see <clears throat> these just snap in. So go in on an angle like this so that you can get this front part past here. And push that down and then put these four screws back in. Next, we can get our gasket back on. Close the 
front. Put the safe box back on. So now we have everything all buttoned up. I want to show you this working. So we're in two wheel drive. I have it up on jack stand so the four wheels are off the ground. Put it in high. You can see we're in two wheel drive. Now we flip the switch. Drive. When you flip it over, 